Plaintiff Jerry Brown says while her daughter was married to the defendant, he became addicted to heroin and put her family through hell. Jerry claims she set up a savings account for her granddaughter and the defendant stole money from the account, so she's suing. Defendant William Maine III admits he had a rough past and spent six years in prison, but insists he's turned his life around. William does admit that he made one unauthorized withdrawal from the bank account in question, but insists he repaid Jerry for that transaction. Start with you. Well, Will's my ex-son-in-law, and um, shortly after he married my daughter, he became addicted to um, Oxycontins, and, which led to heroin. Um, at the time, I didn't know it, but uh, his drug addiction got really bad. He lost his job and um, put my family through living hell. Um, he wasn't paying the bills. They, the kids went without water. They would go without electricity. Um, mm -hmm. Car payments weren't being made. Uh, food wasn't being bought. Um, he, he stole from the neighbors. Um, there was guns involved. The guns were put on the streets. When he got arrested, they, they reclaimed the guns, traced them back to him and his friend. He ended up doing six years in prison. And, uh, and it was a was bad your, time. What were your daughter and grandchildren? What was their situation? They were living that at time? the home at, at that all time. All the way through? All, they all went through it, yes. Defendant William Maine III was married to the plaintiff's daughter and the plaintiff claims William put them through hell as a result of his heroin addiction. Sir, you wanna give us some background? Yes, sir. Um, I'm here, I did have a rough past. Um, I was addicted to prescription pills. Made a lot of bad choices. I hung out with the wrong crowd, um, which got me sent to prison. Um, they, uh, some friends of mine robbed my neighbor's house, took a bunch of guns. I bared witness to that and chose not to do anything about it. Um, so I ended up getting six years in prison. Um, looking back, it was probably the best thing that ever would have happened to me. I'd probably be dead or who knows where right now. So you're saying you got six years because you were with them? Yes, sir. And you didn't tell? Yes, sir. What did you think you all were going to do? Um, you know, it, I wasn't in my right mind. I, I was... When did you come home from prison? 14 months ago. All right. What have you been doing since then? I've been working and trying to pay off old bills. Um, get back on my feet, reestablish myself. Okay. You do have a full-time job? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Good. All right. What are you suing them for today? Well, in 2004, I opened a savings account for my um, granddaughter. And my intent was because, you know, I was, at that time, I wasn't married. And I was struggling for money, but mm -hmm. I wanted to do something for the kids. So I was going to put a dollar a day in, into her account. And I figured after 18 years with the interest and everything that it would be something for something, you know, college or something. And um, in 2007, um, I was, it was my birthday and I was in Seattle and I went to take some money out of my account, my personal account, because the, the, my personal account and the savings account that I had for my granddaughter were the same bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I went to go to get money out of my personal account, that was frozen. So I had called the bank and asked them what was going on because my paycheck had just been deposited that day. So um, we talked about it over the phone. I talked to um, loss prevention and they said um, that there was a William Maine that was depositing checks into the account and then withdrawing money, and then three days later, the account, the checks that were being deposited were insufficient funds, mm -hmm. which was leaving the account at a negative balance. And how did you determine it was him? Because his name is William Maine. Gotcha. <laughs> how did you determine he had access, though? Well, because when I opened the account, I put my daughter on, and she had had the other debit card on her when she was living with Will. Okay. Sir, what do you say about this? Um, I don't know about all the activity. I do recollect I did do this one time. I put a check in. I have two checks. withdrew the money. Once? That I remember one time. I have two checks the with C2. his signature on it. Okay, I only remember doing it one time. Mm -hmm. um, I deposited a check and figured that I, my paycheck would be into my account in time to clear. It wasn't the brightest idea, but uh, I did. Well, as Why shouldn't when, you pay her? When she told me that that had happened, that the check didn't clear, mm -hmm. I gave her the cash for the check to cover it. 
No, he didn't, Your Honor. So whether or not she put it back in the account or not. I when have. did you give her the cash, sir? A couple of days after she told me. Where did you get that clear. cash? My paycheck from work. And you gave her how much? I believe it was around $350. Did but, he give you three hundred and fifty dollars? No, no, Your Honor, he, he hasn't gave given me you money. anything. No, Your Honor, the account up until the day that I decided to put my name back on it was at a zero balance. I gave you that money. No, you didn't. Well, uh, you have any evidence? Of course, it was cash, Your Honor. So of course I don't. You don't have a receipt, Your Honor. Yeah. It was cash. Defendant William Main III was married to the plaintiff's daughter, and the plaintiff claims William put them through hell as a result of his heroin addiction. I just hope you don't uh, go back to prison, sir, because. The way you're handling this um, doesn't seem like you have a lot of remorse. It sounds like you are instead more inclined to try and dodge responsibilities for things that you've done in the past as opposed to trying to make good on them. Try and forget about the past, but your victims don't forget. You can't break in somebody's house. You break in mama's house, take her TV, and then you, mama, I'm clean. I still don't have a TV to watch. <laughs> so you still have to repair the damages you caused when you were uh, on drugs. I advise you to change that attitude. I'm going to grant your judgment. You were Thank very you, clear Honor. on how many checks and what occurred. You were very sketchy. And you were even evasive when we were discussing this break-in. That's why I say you don't sound like you're ready to remain free very long. But good luck to you. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you, Have Your a Honor. good day. Well, I love you, Will. I know you're mad at me, and I just love you. And I still want to be friends. Okay. I'm ready to leave the past in the past and just look forward. That's all I want to do. It's really hard. I mean, I know it's really easy to drag up the past and make somebody look like a piece of but I mean, I... It wasn't my intention.